With Jessica Jones already missing in action, I have to say, sometimes all you need is Moonstone. And then maybe one more attack from your agent. For some odd reason, we had the Legion Pulse Rifle, but it'll do. What is up YouTube, it's Kingfisher745, and in this video, we're going to take one more look at Jessica Jones. First though, thank you to James at AJ Designs for the graphic. Also, I am still sick, but I'm feeling much better than last week, and I read many messages wishing me well, and I want to thank you all for that. I really appreciate it. There's one unfortunate thing that may happen because it's kind of happening now, and that's that I might end up losing my voice for a while. If that happens, I may not be able to make videos for a few days, but we'll cross that road once we get there. Now with the Spec Ops coming to an end, I figured we should take at least one more look at Jessica Jones for now. And in many ways it's because many of you are probably still wondering what to do with her. Well, I'll be honest with you, that's both an easy and a hard question. I realized that it wasn't the easiest thing to figure out when you're trying to build around her as if you would most of the other heroes in the game. You know, for example, when you're trying to build around a new hero, you usually play to their strengths. You try to find synergy with other characters. So say you have a hero with the finest hour attack. You'll look for another character that may also have finest hour and or a way to apply rising up buffs to themselves and their teammates. Or if you have an opportunist character with exploit opportunity, then you can find another character who shares those same attacks. In this case with Jessica Jones, you're not going to find that. Once you realize that, the question really isn't that hard. Instead, she's going to be an additional character, like a support type, in that with her attack, she's going to help you deal with the enemy team. So of course, she's not a support character that's going to heal, protect, or even buff your teammates, but she is going to debuff the enemy. Also, she can still deal damage, She's just not setting up a big move, at least not how her level 9 is currently built. It's too low of damage. Now just to add a few additions to that, there are a few characters that certainly can benefit her. For example, characters who can boost the strength of unarmed attacks. So we already used Juggernaut, and here we're using Moonstone. Then of course she's going to benefit from anything like Strengthened or Extra Turns then it's not really synergy because she doesn't gain anything from it, but of course she builds up grit and has a true grit attack just like Sandman. And we already took a look at that team before as well. What all this means for Jessica Jones is she's not exactly going to be an overpowered hero that you'll want for either damage or for support. Instead, she kind of falls in the middle of the pack. She is usable in PvP, she can do fine. She can hold her own, but she's not one of those OP characters, or even in the top tier. Basically, I don't see many agents using her unless you're just a big fan. Still, I am happy that I have her. First of all, I want to own every hero. Secondly, she is a bruiser, so she's going to increase your hero bonus for defense. So yeah, that's Jessica Jones, and we're going to have two more matches with her, basically trying to set up that grit and see how much damage we can do with her level 9. I am determined to hit with 5 stacks of grit. So before this video ends, that's what I'm going to try to do. So hang in there. As for this first fight, it is definitely a long one. Even with Moonstone, we're still working on Red Hulk, who is absolutely devastating our team. But we still should be able to win this one and it shouldn't take us too much longer. So while we do that, there are a few other things that I do want to talk about. First of all, I want to kind of cover a Spec Op wrap up, and since I was sick, I really didn't get all the footage I wanted to, to make a proper wrap up video. And another problem I had was of course, I kept running out of Unstable Iso 8, and I never managed to win a thousand, not one time this Spec Op. But as far as an overall storyline, I did enjoy the Spec Op, and there were a few decent weapons, mainly the Magia set. So I was able to win the Captain's Fist off the Epic Boss, and I won the Boomerang Launcher, which I did think looked like a pretty decent weapon. I definitely liked the Marksman part. The real prize of this spec up though, was in fact the ISO. Out of it, I didn't get every single thing I wanted, or as many as I'd like. 
But I managed one hair trigger E-ISO and one Sandy. So I was very happy to win that close to the end there. Now the Sandy E-ISO causes gun attacks to generate grit. And let me just say, that's going to be incredible. So I can't wait to show that in some later PvP videos. Then I suppose the final thing that I should at least mention is Boomerang, who I do actually like. Though his level 6 does seem broken. He has a lot of different possibilities. His attacks give him incredible usability. And he's able to adapt to many situations. So yeah, I just love the fact that he has so many options. And you'll probably see me using him quite a bit. Jessica Jones, not so much. But I figured I'd bring in Angel as a support character. And we could give her an extra turn. With that, I was hoping to generate more grit. Honestly, that's one of her problems. She needs more grit generation. We know Sandman is better at it, and it looks like Howard the Duck is going to be better as well. Much better. So first of all, with generating grit, she could use some help. And her level 9 should see a damage boost. Alright, well in this match, I'll be honest with you, we may not exactly get off that level 9 at 5 stacks of grit. Part of it is because of the team we're facing, and the hammer pistol. But if we don't, I have one more idea, and we're going to bring in a support character that will definitely draw out the match. So while we hopefully finish off Spitfire and Sif, there is one more thing that I'm going to address. Okay, so there's a heated debate over the Iron Fist changes. And yes, Heroic Age Iron Fist was ruined. That's just the truth. I'm not going to put it any milder than that. Iron Fist Healing Chi restores less health. Heroic Ages Praying Lotus restores less health. Heroic Ages Praying Lotus no longer prevents debuffs. Iron Fist Healing Chi and Heroic Age Iron Fist Praying Lotus restore less stamina. Heroic Age Iron Fist White Hot Iron Fist has its damage reduced. I mean, talk about overkill. He was already an unarmed attacker and we know what happens to them when they hit a Hugin's Eye agent. They're almost always going to miss, and they just end up healing the agent. So there's absolutely no reason to ever use him again in PvP. That's my honest opinion, but that's not why I'm going into this. I just wanted to lay that out and say I respect everyone's opinions, and I appreciate your comments. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because I know many of us are heated over this. And sometimes the exchanges can get, well, a little bit hostile. And I don't want that, I really don't. So I may not bring it up again. What I would just say is, try to be kinder to each other and keep it respectful. And for everyone who hates the changes, send in tickets and let Playdom know directly. But remember, also be polite and respectful in those messages as well. It'll come across a lot clearer. Or at least it's certainly going to be better received. Trust me on that one. So yeah, just kinda try to be kind to each other and remember, we're all part of the same community. But one last thing that I will say, for those of you who do love nerfs, I think that it's better for games if you don't nerf something unless it really 100% needs it. So for example, when Deadpool had that Berserker Frenzy thing going on, and he was just absolutely over the top. Otherwise, it's like, where do you draw the line? I kind of had a funny response where I said something along the lines of, Let's have every hero do the same exact abilities, a flat damage rate, and then at the end of the match, we'll just have them hug it out and call it a draw. I don't think that would be a very fun game. But for now, I'm just going to leave it at that, and we'll talk about this final match where I brought in Rescue. If anyone can draw out a match and let Jessica Jones slowly build up her grit, it's going to be Rescue. We are, however, facing a Spider-Man Noir and Rocket team, and I'm assuming they have some emphasis on attack. But at least we do have the hammer pistol, and that's definitely going to come in handy. We just have to hope it doesn't finish them off before we can use Jessica Jones level 9. Now one thing I do have to say is I think the Magia set goes very well with her. Especially the targeting device that applies flanked. If you want to gain grit, you're practically going to have to have flanked. And she applies it with her level 2, but it's not a quick action. So it eats up one of her turns. Also, just to add, I believe she still gains grit even if she does miss the attack. 
So that's one good thing. Alright, now on the agent's turn, they're going to use the Neurotrope, which we do have to watch out for. It's no Neurotripe, but hey, we're still waiting on getting Howard. Next, they use the Fetish of Calamity. Now on Rescue's turn, we're going to use Fly by Attack, and we actually have the Ionizing A-Iso on it, so we apply Radiation Exposure. Since the enemy's flanked, we're going to get a second attack with it, and so a second stack of Radiation Exposure. Then with Rescue, we're going to use Status Reset and get rid of those buffs. That's one way to deal with the Neurotrope and Escutcheon. Believe it or not, she's still not going to be done even after all of this. In fact, we'll go ahead and use her Protector Protocol, so now she's going to take damage from whatever they bring us. First up is Spider-Man Noir, so he's going to use Gum Up the Works, she dodges most of it, and then her shield stops the rest. Next, with my agent, I'll use the Alluring Light, and that's going to be as a quick action. After that extra heal, we're going to go ahead and use Momentary Advantage and gain an extra turn. So with that first attack, we'll use the Captain's Fist on Rocket, and then we're unfortunately out of stamina. All Rocket's going to do is reload, so we don't have to worry about him attacking. And once again, with Jessica Jones, we're going to use her level 1. Remember, we're just trying to build up that grit. And I'm actually happy it's going to take a second attack, because that means another grit. But with that, the enemy agent is finally knocked out. And now we might as well go after Rocket. Rocket's super hard to hit right now. But we're still going to go ahead and protect, plus shield our team. And by the way, we have the Blessing AI so on our level 6, Reconstruction Matrix. So it's going to boost our healing received. Rescue's actually gotten even more annoying. Next up, we're going to use the targeting device on Spider-Man Noir, and then the improbability field. Hopefully this dots up Rocket, and we can end up taking him down, because we're finding it really hard to hit him. Okay, well it looks like he's at 1600 HP, so not quite ready to go out. However, he is bleeding, so that certainly isn't going to hurt. Now with Rescue, we're just trying to finish him off, so we use a flyby attack, and we miss, and a second one that misses. Honestly, at this point, it's just ridiculous. Luckily, we do get a barroom brawl and that finishes him off. So with our agent, we're going to go ahead and recharge. And then on Jessica Jones' turn, she finally has five stacks of grit. So there they are, with the scutcheon, times seven, and strengthened. And so here comes our level nine swatted. It crits for just under 10k, so a decent hit, but not enough for all that time and all those buffs. But the most important part is I was able to deliver exactly what I said, and that also brought us to the end of this video. So I want to thank you all for watching, ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. Then until next time, good luck, and take care.